It's all about power, first subject. And just to give you all context, take a look at this. This is an excerpt from what happened in this weekend's episode of Power. We gotta get the right jury to put Tariq St. Patrick away. Exactly. I abhor the violence that comes along with this scourge in our neighborhood. I don't need to explain to you what I do or why I do it. Not to you, not to any fucking body. Even wait to Tariq so we can do what? Sell us some fucking white folks. We got queens on lock. What do we need them for? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, 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 Moochie, I give it to you first. What did you think about the episode and what was your um, most outstanding moment? What stood out to you the most about this episode? My thoughts on this episode, everybody that got their ass kicked deserved it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 I'm just saying. Ooh. I'm a duck. Everybody Ooh. that got beat up deserved it. Ooh. So, you, so what Man. you're saying is, you saying that Braden's brother deserved the ass whipping. Yes. Okay. A, and, you, jerk. and you also saying that Drew deserved the ass whipping. No, not Drew King. No, Drew. Drew got an ass whipping. You saw what you saw what homeboy from down under with the chocolate thunder did to him in that shower. He gave well, him I don't know about all of that. Oh, I God. Here I'm you go, to go, man. Here oh, you go. I don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about his hind parts in the shower and all of that. Oh. Moose, Moose, you, <laughs> you said everybody that got an ass whipping. Well, you said you took my words literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I do. Okay, and then we'll talk about Kane. So Kane deserved his butt whipping too. Yes, you did. You, I was like, good for him. Oh, mm, mm, mm. he, yeah, he got yo. he got served up, and his dad rolled in and said, "Don't you ever put your hands on my wife." Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, man. And, and I mean, and, he took it like a G, though, but he deserved it. I mean, how how can you not take a butt whipping like that? Unlike a G, what you gonna do? I mean, like, no it like he was crying, but he, like I say, he took it like a G. Hey, I mean, would you blame him if he got down there and cried? Did you see the Kool Aid coming out of his mouth? There was, man. That was some straight cherry flavor right there, bruh. And you they talk like about black people too. Yeah, hey, hey, he got him good. So now the question I pose to Larry: What are going to be the repercussions from Kane being upset with his mama, going running and telling daddy? And then daddy basically whipping his ass. What are going to be the ramifications for Kane? Kane's going to Kane's going to be out. Mm. Kane's mm -hmm. going to be out. I, he's not going to be. He's not like he's just going to go home and be like, "I'm going. I'm packing my bags." But Kane, Kane, emotionally, when he looked at his dad right in that moment, he he emotionally checked out. And. Mm. You know, part of that was because he I, he didn't mean to hit his mom. I, when his mom came up on him, that was a that was just a reaction. That's one of them dudes that fights. He's a street fighter. Someone came up on him, and his reaction was vile just to hit the, whoever was behind him, and that just happened to be his mom in that moment. Because you can see when he did that, everything stopped. It wasn't this, like, I meant to do this, and I'm going to keep going at it. It was everything stopped. And then when he reached out for her to try and help her up, she smacked his hand away which I think at that moment he understood. But then I guess when he realized she called his dad because he got it, you know, his dad basically had him beat up. I think at that point he realized, all right, I'm out. I'm out. There's no place for me right here, right now. Mm -hmm. I so, think he's going to get at Tariq though because of it. You, you think he's, when you say get at Tariq, I you think mean, I think they remember they showed a clip where Tariq was like on the ground getting beat like like I think I think he's gonna be the one that attacks Tariq. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Now, yeah, he might be the one. He might be the one. Now we we can, we, can we talk about Braden and Trace though. I, I was about to get on Braden right now, but I want to just go ahead and go into the meat and taters of Braden. Moochie, you live in New York. Yeah. You know the people in New York. That was Queens. It depends on what part of Queens. Tell that's, me. That's where they supposed to be. Tell me just how unrealistic it would have been for a white boy to run up on some dudes and lure them with a blunt into basically buying drugs from this dude on the spot. 
They would have thought he was a cop. Exactly. Yeah. And, that, and that, that's the part I didn't. I, I I was like, all right, he did. It was unbelievable. Some other people were saying that. Like I was reading stuff online. Like when you did your post last night. Yeah. They were saying that part was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it's stereotyping at its worst. Larry, what'd you think about that part? I don't know, man. It's, it seemed a little ridiculous. It seemed a little ridiculous. And I mean, I was thinking, um, I mean, I, they probably would have thought that Trace was a cop too, except for the fact that he was acting all scary. Yeah. But just the way that that brain rolled up on those dudes with all that confidence and, and it did, you know, they did think he was a cop though. He was like, you know, they thought he was a cop. I think maybe it was just because he was willing to smoke a blunt with them. As far as I know, you know, UCs aren't supposed to use drugs, yeah, even though like, they, they they say they're they say they're allowed to if their life is at risk. Like if right. they have to do I, it, right. they can do it, but they're not supposed right. to just do it. And so, yeah. but, but you know, I mean, I've never been a UC. You know, I've only known one or two of them. So you know, I, they don't. I'm sure they never told me everything that's gone down. So I know a know. few of them, and I know two situations. One. Um, and I'm not saying I've dibble dabbled in this, but if you are a John trying to get yourself a hooker for the night, you're supposed to ask the person, are they a cop? And they're supposed to tell you the truth. I can tell you that shit is a lie. And I right. know one who it was in this similar situation, um, but they was investigating. You know, they was doing more than, and they did do a little bit of said drug to ingratiate themselves. Um, with the people that was trying to investigate. So mm. some, so there are situations where, you know, it could happen. But I still, it was just unbelievable to me that they would buy in that quickly. You got, I mean, yeah. it, it was just unbelievable. The, the know, thing that I loved about that told, whole... They, want, yeah, they had to speed up the process. Right, right. The I, thing I, I, I loved about I, that, I that whole thing... I think he smoked with them where he could be more believable mm -hmm. and he, he did have his story, like, look, they dropped me off. I don't have no phone, this and that. I'm just waiting for my peoples to come back. But, you know, I he 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 did a good job at what he did, and he liked it. He 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 got a real rush from it. Mm -hmm. He did. He got a real rush from it. It turned to more where he like, I want to do that again. And you heard Tariq he real quick saying, home. you're never doing that again. Right, you know, right. Tariq knows he was like, "Nah, son, we're not street. We're not. We're not street dealers." You exactly. know, exactly. that's not our bit. But I think what we're seeing is the same dynamic that we saw with Ghost and Tommy. Tommy exactly. loves that street life. He mm -hmm. loves it. He never wanted to let it go. Yep. Even when, even when Ghost had set everything up for the two of them to go legit, Tommy was like, "Nah, I don't want to go legit. I love this stuff," and. Well, it's, I it's think he's going down that same route. He got a well, little taste of it. He's going well, to want know, more of it. Was of a it. Kanan moment too with uh Kane, how he put them out there. Yeah, he because you know it was funny for Kane. It, you know, yeah, it, and it, he was laughing too. He was, he was, but uh, you know, I think Kane got a newfound respect for Brady throughout. Oh, yeah. You know. Uh, no, I think Drake like, has a newfound respect for for Braden. It's a fearful respect, but it's definitely respect because you know when they started that whole scene off, it started off with that that whole that whole segment. It started off with Braden uh, getting on the bottom with with Trace beating up his little brother, and it ended with with Braden telling it telling his older brother, "Shut the fuck up." We're gonna do this. Stop being a bitch, basically. And was telling his brother, "Look, you don't know what you're involved in. I, you know, you may think you know me. You don't really know me, you know. And you definitely don't know this game." Trace was shook, and yeah. mm -hmm. and and I think he's looking at Braden in a whole different light now. All right. So now we got to talk about your boy. <laughs> Which Two one? Bit. Two oh bit. yeah. Courtney Kemp's boyfriend, or somebody told me they done split up. But damn it, she what? still she still done wrote him into the story. So I'm assuming they still together. Um yeah. I, I think you probably don't want everybody to know that. Right. Um, are they gonna do anything with this character, Moochie? Do you think that he's gonna have more of a legacy? He, is he gonna team up with with Kane? Is he gonna try to go start his own thing? What do you think they're gonna do with Two Bit? I think he's gonna segue into to Tommy's thing. 
Okay. Remember, mm. he they talked before he um before he's the one that told him about Spank. Yeah, yeah. So they talked before that. So now he's gonna call Tommy and be like, "Look, they talking about you in this trial." Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So Larry, do you think that's how they're gonna segue to Tommy coming back this season? Maybe he come back to scoop up two bit. And that be it. We see the Mustang coming down the highway, and we see Two Bit and Tommy in it together. We could, or what they could do. Oh God, be, here we go. I'll tell you what would be would even be even dope. That would be even better. Would just be straight fire. Here we if go. We don't even. We don't even see Tommy barely this season. Like, we don't need to see Tommy at all for real, except for like one small snippet. And yeah. it could be something where Two Bit gets out. He's out. He's doing some dirt. Maybe he's on the run from either from some other from somebody else. Maybe from Kane and then, or he's on the run from the cops. He turns and rolls around the corner, and the Mustang just pulls up, and the door opens up, and he says, "Get in!" And yeah. the camera pans down. It's Tommy. Boom! The two are off into the sunset. I that like would that. Be, that would be a dope ending to the season, yeah. and, and a great segue into Tommy's joint because now Tommy's going back to New York. I mean, back to California. He's got his right hand man with him. And you know when you're starting some, when you're starting off new in a new city, you're gonna need that muscle. And two bit is nothing but pure muscle in that sense. So who's gonna be the brains of that organization? I have to ask these tough questions. <laughs> Tommy and two bit, who's the brains of the organization? Well, Tommy's not dumb. Tommy's a smart dude. He's just he's just you didn't quick tempered. Last night? He's just quick tempered. I. I think Tommy. I think Tommy might move into that sort of that role that Ghost played, if he's responsible of tampering down somebody else's impulses, much the way that 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 Ghost had to tamp down Tommy's impulses. If Tommy's responsible to tamp down, you know, uh, Two Bits' impulses, I think he might become that more mature leader that that Ghost was. Okay. All right. I mean, well, we're seeing the same dynamic with Tariq. We have Tariq that's constantly having to slow down, you know, Braden. Well, um, we'll see about that. Um, here's something that I want to shout out my homegirl, Pear Wait, Sharonda. Here's a character that she is sick to death of. And I want to get y'all's opinion on <laughs> what they're going to do with this character. <laughs> my girl, Pear Wait, Sharonda, is sick to death of Riley. She can't she stand Riley. I'm telling it's Riley is the new Riley is the new Holly. <laughs> and she cannot yeah. stand her. How many seasons are they going to let this girl and Braden have their love life before they give her the 86? Oh, I think she's done. I think she's done this season. Me too. What? Yeah. What? I, I don't think she's going to last that long. No way. No way. Mm-mm. She's definitely getting out of this season. I mean, there, there's so much story you can write with her being halfway in love and then still trying to get information on Tariq. No, no way they get rid of her this season. But y'all yeah, bring I think, up a, I, Go ahead. I think they're going to discover. I think, Tom, I mean, I, I, Tariq's already suspicious of her. She's always around. She's always snooping around. And I think he only hasn't really gone for, her, like, really came for her because Braden's with her. But I think what's going to happen is she's going to end up get, she's going to get caught straight up in their business, and then he's going to have to step to, he's going to have to step to Braden and be like, "Yo, this is what's what," or he's going to set a trap for her. Maybe he sets up his cell phone or something and, and films her, you know, snooping, and then Braden's going to have to go ahead and I think I think he might actually pop his cherry on her and 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 take her out because she's gone. She's not, I mean, when they did the whole thing with Holly and they had Holly, you know, Holly worked for, for what you, I, I totally forgot that Holly worked at uh what you call it. So she was there for, for a few seasons working at yep. truth with that build up, getting her there. Exactly. But, but they, they don't need that because they jumped straight with Holly. They jumped straight in with, uh with Riley being with Braden. So they skipped all the build up with her. Which means they can they can just go ahead and take her out when they're ready. Well, but but even with what you just said, she's tied to two major characters. She's tied to Braden, and she's also tied to Nancy. And you, there's so much stuff you can do with that tie-in. I just don't see them killing her right now. They're gonna kill her. I mean, everybody. You you can have Ray Charles glasses on, and you can see that coming a mile away. They're gonna right, kill her. Think 
But think of it like this with his, with his with this whole thing between between Nancy and Tariq. You know, uh he wants he wants Tariq, but he I don't feel like it's like gut personal. It's not like in the gut personal. He kill if he if if his niece ends up getting killed as a consequence of working with this, not only is he gonna feel terrible because he got her involved with all this, but he's also gonna be pissed off that she died as a result of dealing with Tariq. And he's gonna it's gonna be extraordinarily personal at that point. And I think he'll take the gloves off, whether it's it, whether he's working, you know, with the AG's office or wherever. I think it'll be. I think he'll go really come for Tariq hard. And at the same time, I think it takes. I think what, if they have Braden kill um, Riley, it takes him out of that. Oh, he's this rich white kid that's protected from everything, and moves him more into. Oh, this dude really is a gangster. You know, whether he whether he was born into privilege and wealth and everything else, he's just a straight up thug now. He's just a gangster who's killing people and selling drugs. Well, he he ain't got to kill Riley to do that. He can kill his brother to make that statement. There's a lot of people. One of those kill. two are gonna die. Yeah, he's not I'm killing his brother. The, he's not killing his brother. He, like we saw, we saw the affection he had for his brother when he was in there, and he, he even got, he even got what's his name's uh, Kane's respect because the dudes were about to hem him up, and he stopped him. He was like, "Nah, man, that's my brother. No one gets to beat my brother but me." And dude was like, "I can respect that," and he still held him there for a few minutes, so he got took a few licks, and then he let him go. But I just, I don't think that he's gonna let anybody touch his brother. I think that, I think the. I think the only time that something may come down between Tariq and Braden might be if Tariq goes for Braden. If, if I mean Tariq goes for Chase. If 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 for some if for some reason Trace gets in, you know, says, "Oh, this is crazy. I can't. You guys can't do this." And he tries to go and, and rat him out or threatens or something like that. I can see there being a problem between Tariq and Braden if if Tariq is like, yo, your brother's got to go or threatens his brother or something to that effect. I, but, but Riley, nah, son, I think he'll take Riley out. Brayden going to have two bodies. It's going to be his brother and it's going to be Riley and it ain't going to be this season. That was, my, that was, that was my prediction too. I said, he's he going to kill somebody. Yep, he's definitely now. Let's talk about old um Alfonso Riviera Lawrence boyfriend. I told y'all when we first seen his ass, he's gonna die. <laughs> they build him, he's gonna die. He's Larry, he's gonna die. He's okay. Let's say he doesn't die, he's gonna be collateral damage somehow, some way. He's getting on Tariq nerve, he keep popping up and it seems like Tariq likes Lauren way more than he liked Di um, Diana. And oh, Diana, can... Diana's all butthurt and thirsty, man. She's hey, 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 man, hey, hey, Larry. hey, hey. She she's so she's thirsty. thirsty, Larry. Just she's give her thirsty. a cup. Did you give see how cup. thirsty she was at that dorm door? Hey, when he, man, who do you boy. have in there? Oh, that's what you're about. Oh, you got some. What is it, that Lauren chick? She, man, she was thirsty as a man in the Sahara Desert. She was thirsty. <laughs> well, then Tariq need to give her a damn cup. He already done, we already done helped him come up with the Reek bop. Now he need to come up with the Reek cup and give that <laughs> girl a drink. Her thirsty ass. She thirsty, but so is her brother. Now, let's, now, is, now Muchella, do you believe that there is a possible chance that Everett could become collateral damage? Drew's um boyfriend, maybe it's a possibility, especially if he becomes a threat to Zeke with the basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He might see something where he might end up if he becomes a threat like he like that, then yeah. Hmm. And the mother's <laughs> already mad that he's going up there all the time. Yeah, the mother mad that both of them hanging up at college, they're trying to get them an honorary degree. She mad as hell with them both. Mm. She don't know what to do. Her, she losing her kids. She losing one to the streets because she's bringing in a foreigner. And then she's losing the other two to the same foreigner because he's at college. She's getting twisted. Monet is getting twisted, which careens me to Lorenzo. If Lorenzo is running the streets, he's obviously he's got the cops on his side. He's got people in the street on his side. 
Larry, how do you contend with someone who's in jail and has that much authority? Kill him. Damn. Damn. I mean, that's the easiest way. Damn. I mean, he's not going to kill him. Nah, but those guards are. Guards are, I mean, guards are cheap. You just have to be willing to make that investment. I mean, if somebody's paying these guards, I don't know how much they're paying them, but I mean. We must be taking care of them real good, though. Look at what they did. They I, I got you, but I'm just saying it just needs to be one of those. You just have to pay them enough to make it worth it. Hmm. Now, do, do, could you all see a situation where it becomes Tasha versus Lorenzo? And oh, it's leading up to it's definitely leading up to that. They've I, they've been they've been sort of they've it. been hinting at that where she's where she was on the phone call saying, if you hurt mine, I will I will find a way to hurt yours. She's right. definitely they've been definitely leading up to that. And I think that I think it's gonna be one of those things where you know, I'm not sure how that I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but I somehow I think that 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 Tasha is going to be the one that's going to be moving stuff inside. She like I, the more that I've seen the way they're playing this, I was right. convinced that she was getting out this season, and right. I'm not so sure. I think they might have her become sort of like a queen pin inside. Okay, okay. So I was going to ask that, Mucha. Do you think Tasha is getting out this season, or are they going to drag it out the next season? I don't know because it seemed like the way Meth is. I don't think he's playing like playing. He's not playing a game with sacks. Right. I think he's gonna throw sacks under the bus, and I think she's gonna get out of jail. Now, when when they was oh, trying, well, that's what I want. When they was trying to pick the the jury, that judge knew something was going on. That, yeah. I mean, that judge had that look in her eye, like, "Nah, children, my children don't normally act like this." And y'all yeah. is acting very quiet when you should be making noise. Um, and the, the the deal that they got is for Tasha to walk so that Sats can put the cuffs directly on Tariq. I just don't see that happening. Even though I want Tasha out of jail, I don't see them letting her out this season. I just don't see that happening. I see some kind of double cross somebody triple crossing i don't see tasha getting out now if tasha does get out larry what does that mean for Tariq? well see that's that's the tricky part right because mm -hmm. if tasha gets out i don't think she can jump right back in the game because they're gonna have so many eyes on her mm -hmm. like she might be tempted to jump right back in the game because she's gonna probably need money but She's not going to be able to just – I mean, they're going to have too many eyes on her. She's going to be too hot. Like, if I'm even if I'm Tariq, I wouldn't even want to be around her that much. She's going to be too hot. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. We'll see, man. That's, that's going to that's gonna be tricky. I, I, I mean, the more that I look at this thing, though, I don't think they're letting her out this season. I, I think they're playing her up to, to, be, to be something inside the jails. Man, y'all stupid. Somebody in the comment section reminded me – did y'all hear when Riley said Uncle Nancy has a blow up doll that was given to him by his mom, by her mama? Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Somebody in the comment section gonna say to me, "What's wrong with having a blow up doll?" <laughs> well, nothing. <laughs> if you like to beat your meat like that, ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but, but for your niece to know that you got that blow up doll, that's where the the, the problem comes in. You don't want her doing. Oh. Your your personal business like that oh my goodness lord have but you know how that family is they probably they probably gave that to him at like a big family dinner as a as a prank gift so everybody the family knows yeah he but how the careful. hell does riley know that he's actually using it <laughs> well i don't know she knows he's using it she's she she probably goes over to his house and probably seen it in his closet or something as much as she snoops around she was probably digging all up in his personal business well that's, well, that's exactly how she knows he's using it. She went to his house and found the, the blow-up doll and the residue in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what was she doing? That's the question that he needs to ask. Her. What were you doing touching the doll to find the residue? I mean, because the residue is not going to be – I mean, it's going. you have to dig inside that damn thing to feel the residue. And what were you doing up in there? Digging in somebody's <laughs> used sex doll. Boy, yeah, yeah, see, 
Y'all, y'all wrong the way y'all be going with these conversations. Y'all talk about Cooper Sacks is like a puppy, get on everything and hump. That's the only way he gets his rocks up. <laughs> yeah, somebody said it's not a blow up doll. She said it's a real life sex doll. They don't make like the blow up dolls aren't no. the thing anymore. From what I know, they said they make those like those silicone dolls that look like real people now. So seven oh three said the blow up doll's name is Rebecca. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Oh goodness. Rebecca's her first name. Karen is her middle name. You know oh, he my. oh my goodness. Wait. Somebody in the comment section said Lorenzo looks like a Hispanic stone cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. I can see that. What's her name? I think it's Viola McGow says, How do you know that, Larry? When I was talking about the sex dolls, I'll tell you how I know because people used to buy, I used to live in LA. People used to buy those sex dolls and they would put them in the front seats of their cars. And seatbelt them in so they can drive in the HOV lanes. They do that so, here. They do that here. <laughs> people get caught like that. And that was a big thing. People, they were like, there was a big thing asking, why are so many people buying sex dolls? And it turns out they weren't buying them for sex. They were buying them and seatbelting them into the cars. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. Well, let's finish up on power with. I want to hear both of you guys' expectations, and um, Muchi, I'll go with you first. What did you expect to see in next week's episode? Next week's episode, they already going to be looking for Kane. I don't think he's going to come home. Right, right. He's going to be gone. And I think I, I'm I'm thinking he might end up going up to that. He's not going to go up to that school, but he's going to catch Tariq somewhere. Mm, mm -mm. So Moochie, oh, no. For Tariq. So Moochie is <laughs> in the tank that Kane ain't coming home. And he's going to go after Tariq. Larry, what say you, my brother? I think 2-Bit's going to roll up on that campus looking for Tariq. And while he's wandering around, Professor Megram's going to say, oh, excuse me, young man, can I can I help you find something? And he's going to say, sure, he's going to unlock a lock on a door or lock a key. And the next thing you know, bam, panties drop, Professor Megram and 2-Bit get it in right there on Look, campus and then as he leaves he walks out the door and sees Tariq coming out of professor uh what's his name's office professor still a paper and and now he's gonna be up there and be like just who i was looking for and then what's his name is his name jamal he's gonna look at professor megram like what were you doing again and Tariq's gonna walk off with 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 two bit and professor megram and, and, and dude are gonna have their crazy conversations again i think that's what's gonna happen <laughs> they gonna show too big getting touch getting in touch with Tommy. I think though, I do yeah. think that. I think we're gonna see that coming, and we ain't seeing. And look, I don't want to hear no more locking keys with Professor Carey because apparently she done got pregnant by that damn Z. So I might be I might be done with her anyway. If I find out that she done got pregnant by this bum looking like Bill Bellamy, I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That's Bill Bellamy's son. Well, that's why he looked like him. They saying she's pregnant? Amen. Amen. <laughs> see, look, look, see, look at Moot. See, Moot. See, Moot, you ain't getting back on this channel for a whole, you own punishment for a month. You own punishment. 